Oh. Yeah, oh, oh no! Big pops. Oh. I'm so sorry! Hey. Oh god. <laughs> The time has come, John. Do you know what we're in for? Um, uh, Resident Evil? Yes, not just any, <laughs> but Village. I've been very excited for this one, as have you. I'm I've been ready. playing this one myself, so I know what a, quite a bit of what we're in for, at least today. But I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm excited to see how you like it. Um, we were talking about this before we started. I totally forgot the main protagonist's name from Resident Evil 7 when we were playing the demo. I was, like, so confused as to who we yes. were. I don't know. I feel kind of dumb just not realizing who that was, but, like, I didn't connect these two worlds together. <laughs> well, there are, like, vastly different settings. But also, I think Capcom kind of knew most people didn't remember him much because, you know, he's just, like... Generic you know, white guy number two. a couple of hands. Yeah, which is a lot of horror games these days, but that's... The, but my thing is, like, I think they knew that because one of the trailers is just a bunch of characters saying, Ethan Winters, Ethan Winters. It's like a fucking Harry Potter, <laughs> like, trailer. Like, it's like, all right, so clearly you want me to know that this is Ethan Winters and remember that name. So, I don't well, know. Well, I, I realize now, I we never see a face on, on him. Like, we, I can't put his face on a name. So it's kind of, like, a little bit harder for me, I guess. <laughs> just really didn't dawn on me that we would continue his mm. story <laughs> yeah i will say he's a lot more interesting and likable in this one just because they give him a little more of a personality you'll find out where how we get from that game <laughs> to this one. also a big question of mine like how the hell like maybe i'm remembering the game different but yeah so we're gonna watch the recap recap that's what it is yeah the recap All right, here we go seven mm-hmm I would love it if they put it all cutesy like. Okay. <laughs> Where to start? It's like John Bias, a five year old. <laughs> and narrated by a five year old. My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife who disappeared. I got an email from her. They said we should break she up. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. Mm, mm, mm. She wasn't thinking <laughs> right. That's to put she it lightly. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I hand. found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. Oh, I looked right. all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left that of them guy. wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Oh. Wait, did you pick me or did you pick Zoe? I picked Mia because at that point I already knew that the then Zoe Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy pointless. showed up and saved the Which kind of sucks because I kind of like Zoe more. That's funny because I picked Zoe. I was like, no man, fuck Mia. Yeah. Mia should have stayed in missing in action. Enough? <laughs> I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. Well. Got news for you. It's all over now. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, the last scene, um... Who showed up at the scene? It was, like, one of the old guys. Was it Leo? Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield. He shows up, he takes yes. over the whole... He takes control, and then... What happened to Ethan after that point? He's lifted out of, out of the place in a helicopter. And if you pick the Mia, um, ending, she is there with you. She's like, we did it! But if you pick the Zoe ending, there's no one, because I guess Mia dies and Zoe dies, so it's like, oh, cool. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. And the internet hmm. was... It, I feel like people are very torn with th that Chris Redfield, because they clearly made him more photorealistic and more like how he looks in Resident Evil 1 and Code Veronica, as opposed to 5 and 6. And, like, a lot of people were like, he looks 
why'd they make him not look like 5 and 6? But I personally like the older look more, but just because the 5-1 looks like he's about to explode because he's, like, so swole. <laughs> um, well, this one, know. it's kind of like an in-between. They kind of do, like, a hybrid of the two looks. Oh, really? They fine. change his look again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks more angry. Interesting. All right, all right. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to start this. Oh, shit. What'd you pick? Standard? Hardcore? Standard. I'll do standard. Right, you have all we got. Yeah, I'll just do standard. Yeah. I heard hardcore is better if you want a really like survival horror -y experience, but for a first playthrough, I'd say start with standard. I don't need that. I don't need that kind of heat. Yeah. Now we learn about the Deathly Hollows. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. Was this a Shrek film? Empty. <laughs> Yet determined to find the berries, the Rasko broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished <gasps> into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit oh. his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the mm. thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. Oh. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, crafted he mist. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Whoa. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate. What is this girl eating? And smiled with joy. <laughs> not a lot of meat in the fins. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. <gasps> the horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. You know, if she had just apologized, maybe she wouldn't be there. Yeah. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. <gasps> so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Hmm. There. She's asleep. There is no foreshadowing in that story. With the creepy story. She's only six months old. Yeah, what are we doing? Even at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local. One at the store says traditional, eh? Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that. Remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Okay. Jeez. You're just being paranoid. It's not. Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Why do I feel like she's just gonna like pull up a pull a scissor and just stab me? We'll finish dinner. <laughs> pull a chainsaw out again. Where do you even <laughs> get that? <laughs> I just keep it on me. <laughs> it's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember. Hey, honey, you need a hand with those groceries? I'll her. take both. <laughs> <laughs> Did you oh. say something? Nothing. No. I'll put her Please down. Don't hurt me. See, she's like over here in thoughts in her head. <laughs> I, Ooh. I would always be jumpy around her. Like, no matter how much, like, it's, they're like, yeah, she's totally fine. It's completely gone. I'd be like, I, I, I'm still terrified of her. <laughs> Ooh, I never noticed that. Nice. And you see that backlight? Ooh, very nice. Yeah. I only noticed that because, like, I recently got backlights on my TV, and it's amazing. Ooh. My computer kind of has that. Well, I, I have a lamp behind it, so I can like reflect off the ceiling. Oh, wait, speaking of which, 
Oh, yes, I had to turn my on. Oh, gosh, she really, she really Big ballooned. <laughs> so this is That'll happen. This oh, is after we came back. What a miracle. Yes. Oh, three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? Three years ago. Uh, it's been three years? More or less, yeah. That's a pretty short turnaround time to be like, yeah, we're a happy, normal family. <laughs> no like we, therapy We'd all be in needed. counseling for the rest of our lives. Yeah. This has some... Maybe, I don't know how homes look, but like, some of this, uh... Looks a bit Mexican style? I don't know. So they are in Europe. It's not specified where. Oh. Um, so I think that's part of it. It's like an old like, European house or something to that effect. Uh, I think it's somewhere in like the continental Europe. It's going not England. Beautiful. Lots of pictures. Who do you think is yeah. a photographer? Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Um, the ghouls. <laughs> Who took these pictures? <laughs> oh. I like the hardwood. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. She doesn't understand though, Bruh. like you said. <laughs> it's like it's like you know when scared. you know like when you're like cousins or like nephews who have they're one year old and like it's a birthday and you have to get them a card and it's like they're not mm. gonna read this. <laughs> <laughs> You could Who's... literally write nothing on it. It's just a blank <laughs> paper, and it would mean the same to them. <laughs> like, who's this card for? <laughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose. It's for the parents, so they remember you did a nice thing for their kid someday. That's right. Well, they're just gonna throw <laughs> it away. Uh, what does it say? Curtain closes on the Dove Get. I don't think this matters. Jack Baker? Oh, Jack Baker. That's, just, that's the Baker yeah. family. The committee completed their investigation yeah. in 1852. Dove toxic gas leak in Louisiana 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas. Wait, so this is a cover up? Yes. That they had built yeah. up in the mur mud rock under the area. Ex uh, Baker and his family were exposed to gas uh, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. I mean, uh -huh. okay. So, we are, we relocated and... forgotten about this already. We relocated yeah. and nobody knows where we are. Yes. I guess we're in more or less like a witness protection thing, even though we have the same names. Also, that was a weirdly written... It didn't seem like an actual newspaper article, because they just say Ethan Winters and his wife... But, like, if you're reading that in a newspaper, it'd, it'd be like, oh, who? who? Around. I should get rid of it someday. Mm. I feel like they would have specified, like, a visiting couple or something, or, you know, whatever state they're from, they would point How out. How would they, they know that we were somehow affiliated? Not locals. Right, like, Your I guess they wouldn't even have to say so anything. Much. Whoa, that's a giant. Aww. I don't know what those are. Music box? Oh, oh like sure. The little those things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's her room? I'm, I didn't... I'm lost. Uh, one of these. Yeah. I didn't take the time to interact oh. with like any of this stuff, so I'm, I'm discovering a lot here. Also, that shower. Look at that shower. Isn't that nice? Dude, that is fancy. I, I want it. We're living it up over here. That's kind of like how you know if you're rich or poor is like the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. My bathroom looks nothing half that nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost there, honey. Rich people don't even have to clean their bathrooms. It's just always permanently clean. <laughs> They're just like, I just thought it was always clean. Poor <laughs> <laughs> people just emanate filth. I don't know. <laughs> What's rent? <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Ooh. They got those pillows Holy. things inside the crib. That's like a no-go. And that blanket? Uh, oh my gosh, take it away. That's like a big red flag. Bad? Yeah, man. Babies can... Literally, babies can choke on anything nowadays. Oh, and shit, I didn't know that. And they, like, um... So this is, like, 
the conventional or like I guess this is like the norm, but like I guess they have like new regulations saying like you literally shouldn't put anything in there besides like oh, well. baby proof pillows or whatever. There's like so many things that are just so hazardous. It's ridiculous. Oh, like I literally like when I went shopping for my kids, like everything was just like like you look it up online and you're like, oh no, that that's no good. That's no good. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I never even would have thought about that. <laughs> Oh, one big happy family. Uh. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. I see. What's she cooking? Pasta, perhaps? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, Mia, she's stirring a pot. Like, what's she making? Still no pictures of us, like though. Forever. Right? The one on the bottom right looks like it would be in an ad or something. <laughs> they probably just like took a stock photo and painted over it. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have known it otherwise. We're short on one picture. Damn it. Uh, Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. Oh, so she's like really triggered by this. We finally settled down in our yeah. new life in Europe and can bring Rose up uh, properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget about everything, pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We hope <laughs> we over we <laughs> owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like the, that at the hospital if she didn't care. Yeah. Mm. They all need to be seeing therapists. Because that's not something you can just come back from. Yeah, how can you just, like, cope with that on your own or think that uh, you can come back from that? But then again, how would you explain that to your therapist? I don't know. I, I think the whoever relocated, the BSAA would have to provide them with some kind of specialist. Fine. You know what? If anything, yeah, the people that come came and snatched us with that right clip is with, what are their team name? Like, those guys... The BSAA. BSAA, they should have provided or like recommended all this stuff to us. What the hell? Yeah. Heavy. It's not paranoia. If really Clearly, like, you. their soldiers and shit would have some sort of very particular PTSD that is beyond just normal, like, combat, you know? So they would right. have to have some kind of, like, specialists who can help them. Well, you would hope. You would hope. But, you know, budget cuts <laughs> and all that. Yeah, yeah. Huh, so this no is post-COVID time, so everything has been taking a hit. <laughs> yes. It's affecting us everywhere. Yeah. Oh, wait, this dinner. This food is just sitting out. Is that stuffed cabbage? Can what I zoom? I can't zoom in. Want some? I I don't know. I think it's stuffed cabbage and... But that bread looks good. More cabbage. Oh, do you? It's all just cabbage. <laughs> Why are we eating only, only cabbage? Oh, Mia! Wait. I've had enough cabbage. Is she okay? I don't Sleeping want to talk like about it. A, I like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, what's That's happening to that soup? Whole experience. Oh, hands off, What's mister. happening to that soup? Oh. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least yeah, we military got military training. training? You, mm -hmm. me, Rose. Why? And now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in uh, Louisiana? Guess, it happened so long ago. things happen. I, don't know. I just, I don't understand why you are so- uh, What? Uh. Mia! Get down! Military training. What? What is real? Oh! 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 Mamma mia! Why? <laughs> no, why? Why it was a vintage? Mia! Oh God! Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What the? What? The... Oh. what? Why? Wake up, samurai. We got a world to burn. 
Uh, so, uh, hey! Long time no see. So, so he relocated us just to kill our wife. Go on, move! <laughs> and take away our kid. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Package delivered. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Oh my gosh, that's not our kid, is it? <clears throat> Ow! You'll see, I think. Rose. Just let, be glad he didn't punch you like a boulder. <laughs> I like how we're knocked out, but we're still seeing all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretending to be knocked out. Our eyes are like completely open. <laughs> this is how we pass out. <laughs> well, if you had Mia for a wife, you'd sleep with both eyes open as well. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. She knows. Hey now. She knows something's up. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well then, what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna, She's gonna be fine. fine. I, just I just know, know it. it. What, else what else matters? matters? We, we matter, matter, Ethan. Ethan. You, you matter. matter. You just. Mia, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Is there something, Is there something you're not you're telling, telling me? me? Come on, talk, talk to me. me. Damn it. Yeah, notice the difference in her demeanor I have to there. This. So they didn't kill us off. That's interesting. No. Oh, that's why. Jesus. <laughs> sir? Sir, wake up, sir. Can I use your phone? <laughs> hey, he won't mind. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on my Sounds like when a... Like an action figure mix has like a little voice box, but the battery inside it is dying. What the hell <laughs> yeah. Wow. So... Interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is there anything in here? I probably can't do anything. Bunch oh. of boring files. Eliminate target, recover body, secure Rose. Win okay, secure both of us. Move the two Wintersis. Wintersis? To Precise C. Yeah. Okay. So something's that up with too. us, and they didn't need me anymore. Interesting. Yeah. Or she's considered some kind of a threat if they take Rose. Well, she was clearly keeping something from us. Yeah. Three years since she didn't say anything? I don't know, man. She got shot? Like, did you see how she didn't even really flinch? <laughs> I don't know, something tells me, like, maybe... Maybe putting her down was the right thing. Maybe. <laughs> and when he double-tapped her, he put, like, several bullets into her. It wasn't just one, you know? And I don't blame you, or blame him, because, like, the last <laughs> game made me think that she was dead, like, maybe three times over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you were short one hand, and then you glued it back on. Bird stapled. That's right. Ah, <laughs> oh, my hand! <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the one you replaced, too. My good hand! <laughs> <laughs> my new one. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's... <laughs> That's my new, new good hand! I love in that game, like... You can actually oh. lose a leg at one point, and you have to, like, reattach it with the goo. With the... Herb juice. I'm sorry, I was fixated on the... Corpses... Yeah. ...of crows. Dead birds. Oh! Ooh. 
All right, we don't have a weapon yet, so I... Okay, just gonna keep going. Let's go. It's five minutes of Freddy's all over again. <laughs> Wait, this one. It's always the birds. Oh! Is that a naked man?